I wrote a book, The Angry Filmmaker Survival Guide Part 2, uh, Sound Conversations with Unsound People, where I got a lot of my friends in the business who make their living doing nothing but sound to talk about what they do, how they got into it, why they do it, and why it's important. Mm -hmm. Well, and what I love about it is it's a, as a practical guide. I think all of your books are incredibly practical guides. I mean, if you want to learn how to make real film for real filmmakers, right, you, is, I think you've got to go to the Angry Filmmaker Guides. They're extremely important. I'm a fan. Thank you. What I loved about this book, which I think was a bit different, was the fact that it's not only sound advice, right? It's not only this idea, but it also has some lovely stories as well. I think of why people got into the business, what their passion is, and I think that really filled out the book for me. What, what, what was it like writing the book? The second book was a gas for me because I, I got to hang out with a bunch of my friends and got to talk to them and we got to talk about all sorts of stuff that we, we truly like and have in common. Um, and what was interesting for me was asking them some of the questions that I get asked all the time by students, by filmmakers, mm -hmm. and having them look at me in disbelief. They really ask you this? <laughs> I wrote the book because I thought it was important mm -hmm. and I still think it's really important. It was... A, it, it got a lot bigger than I planned. I guess kind of like one of my films, right? right? You know, we always start this off, but things just kept continuing to happen. Well, and, it, and it's certainly, you know, it's not a small book, meaning it, the undertaking and the ideas in it, and you really look at sort of sound and sound design and all the different aspects of it, I think, in a way that is so multifaceted that it makes it a great book. But for me, when I was reading it, the my biggest takeaway is in reading it that it's not a book for sound people. Right? It's not a book about sound for sound designers or sound recorders or all the different careers that you can have, that it's really a book about sound for filmmakers, for anybody who wants to make a film to understand the richness of sound, to understand the importance of sound, and kind of the history and all that sort of stuff that goes into it. I think it's incredibly important. Well, I also think that even if you're not interested in sound, but you like movies, it's something that you can look at and see how they did stuff or see how things come together. Because you know everybody knows what a director of photography is, but how many people know what a sound designer is or a supervising sound editor or location mixer or a Foley artist? Or that they're real people. And the fact that these are real people, these are professionals, these are artists, these are technicians who are actually going through and you know they are filmmakers as well, right? They are people who are into the art and craft of, of filmmaking. Really they're storytellers. You know, no matter what part of the the spectrum they're in here. They're storytellers, because even the Foley artist, when I was talking with uh, Jana, she was talking about her contributions to character and how she makes this kind of sound here. It helps tell something else in the story. So most of the people you know that I interviewed, I mean, they're all really talking about sound and film as it relates to story. You know, if you want a bunch of technical advice, I didn't want that, mm -hmm. and, and I don't think I really gave you any of that. But really, I think it's how sound relates to story.